Welcome back to the Torque Test channel. I wanted to take a second to go over the new ranking scoring method we're going to be using for tomorrow's episode and future episodes so that it doesn't bore people who don't want to know about it but does provide information for the people who are curious. So on this chart we're going to have the scoring system on the left, the uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then in this next column will be the image of the product and this is just for half inch impact full size. Then we have the brand, model number, and then in white we have basically all the scores these impacts have made. So we have working torque, max torque, best case scenario, its length, uh, the torque claim it, it has which is based on max torque, and its cost which will be value score. So in the bottom row of each of these will be its scoring. For working torque here it made 430 foot-pounds so that will be a 43. Max torque it made about 540 so it's going to be a 54. Best case scenario made around 620 so it's going to make 62. And then for length to foot-pounds this is just the best case scenario test divided by its length which in this case is 81. If it made more torque, the value would be higher. If it was shorter, the value would be higher. So either case, it gets a benefit if it's shorter or makes more power. The next is basically how close they are to their claims. In this case, the best case scenario made 69% of his torque claim. So 624 divided by 900 is 69%. And then the last one is the maybe most subjective one, which is uh, price. So this is weighted so that it's in line with the rest of the stats, which is um, mid double digits to upper double digit range and this is essentially the best case scenario test divided by the cost so 624 divided by 150 and then times 15 so in this case that's 62.4 so when you add all these scores together that's 371.4 but let's see how that ranks compared to the other two impacts we've tested so far so so far we've tested three full-size impact wrenches there'll be more in this list as we test more including tomorrow's episode. But here's the data for each of the two impact wrenches that we're now including, which is the Matco and the Harbor Freight. And then the white, you have the foot-pounds it made, um, which if you bring down their scores, will be 52, 44, and so forth. Then if you divide the torque it made by its length for each of the impacts, you have 77.3 and 88.8. And then same thing for the torque claims. You basically take the 639 divided by 850 and the 611 divided by 1000. So in this case, the Harbor Freight is a bit enthusiastic with its 1000, and the Matco is more conservative with its 850, so the Matco got a higher score at 75. And then the value is the biggest difference here. The Matco is $469 when it was purchased, and the Harbor Freight was 149 So you have the difference of 61.5 score and a 20.4 and that's a 40 point difference but even so the Matco edges out the Harper Freight just barely even with that gap and that's a result of it being longer and it having an advertised torque figure of a thousand as well as making less working torque otherwise they're quite close so how did we get to a theoretical 500 point max well, that just seems to be the best of each category I've tested so far, including videos I haven't put out yet. That's not any one impact of scored 500. It's just if you take the best value of each column and add it together, it's around 500. So theoretically, that's the max, but that could change in the future. And then in the right, we'll have notes when applicable, which is the Matco is discontinued. And then the Harbor Freight can be found cheaper in its normal non-green model, which would probably allow it to beat the Matco in this case in the scoring system. So what's the purpose of this scoring system? Well, we're going to be testing more and more full-size impacts and more and more of similar impacts in different categories. And we'll want to be able to do an overview at each episode's end to show sort of how it ranks. Um, showing the power is good, but it's also important how long they are, you know, how close they're being to their advertised torque figures and how much they cost. If you want to talk about weight and how loud they are and how easy they are to use the controls, that's all subjective and up for you to decide. The name of the channel is Torque Test Channel, so 
each one of these data points is based on torque. Even the length is a function of torque, the torque claims, and the value is a function of torque. Tune in to see tomorrow's episode where we use this for the first time.